Hi, my name is Emily Thiel. I teach the violin, the viola, and the cello at the Lone Star School of Music. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to play with rhythm, particularly on a metronome. Now, if you're a student of mine, often I'll ask you to play something with a metronome, and you know that it's really difficult, especially if you've never done anything with rhythm or with metronomes before. So I'm gonna get you started today on a tip, no matter what stringed instrument you play, on how to effectively um, play a stringed instrument with the metronome. So there's a lot of good metronome apps that that could be on your iPhone or your regular phone or any phone. Um, if you have a physical metronome, that's fantastic. If you don't, it doesn't matter. I actually don't even have a metronome right now, so I just use the one on my phone. Um, so the app that I currently use is called Metronome Beats. Um, I tend to cycle through apps, like sometimes I find one that I like better. This one just happens to be the free one that I'm currently using, but it's called Metronome Beats. So um, we're gonna start with our metronome at 60. So before you do anything, you wanna to try to listen to the beat and just get a sense of what's going on. Kinda of try to feel it in your body in any way that you can. Usually I will nod my head with the beat. Um, rhythm is always felt first with the body, so remember that. Now I'll start tapping my hand and try to do a controlled motion, just like if you're clapping at a concert, just something that feels very natural. Now, the difficult thing, um, the part that makes playing a string instrument hard with the metronome is that we are, we are controlling the rhythm with this big obstacle in the way between what's actually sounding and what we're doing with our hand. So we have to learn to move this big weight, the bow, a long time with the metronome. So I always um, have students start to do this in the air before they even put it on the string because the string creates its own resistance. So we're just gonna do this in the air until you get used to pulling the weight of the bow. And do this for as long as you need. This is probably gonna be a lot of your time with the metronome. It's just doing simple motions. Now, once you feel comfortable, or if you're a more seasoned player, you can then put it on the string. You can just do that for as long as you need to. Um, now, if you need some extra help, which I'm sure you will because lots of people have a lot of trouble with the metronome at the beginning, um, come take a lesson with me and I'll show you some other ways we can use the metronome effectively. Um, thanks for watching on how to get started using a metronome with a, with a cello in particular. If you want to learn more, um, you can comment below or watch our other videos on the Lone Star School of Music website and YouTube page. And you can sign up for classes with me on, at www.lonestarschoolofmusic.com. Thanks for watching.